First of all, you'll have to download these files Branch, Chrome OS, CPUZ, Installing File, Linux Mint, Cinnamon 22, Refuse, and WinRAR. To download these files, you'll have to open your browser and search for Linux Mint. Open the very first link. Click on download. Here you'll have to download Cinnamon Edition. Click on download. Scroll a little bit. If you click on any link, download will be started. Now you'll have to search for Castag Chrome OS and here you'll find Chrome OS updates. Click on here. Now here you have to download Aspire System codename. In my case, I'm using 8 generation processor, so I will download Ramas. Search for a system codename and click on here. And from there you'll have to click on any link and download the latest. Whenever you click on it, download will be stored. And now you'll have to search for branch GitHub. Open the very first link. Here you can see if you're using a PC that's below 8 generation Intel processor or AMD Ryzen processor. Chrome OS will not support. Chrome OS also will not support if your PC doesn't support iGPU. So make sure that your PC is your PC is a generation or later and for AMD or Ryzen processor you're using. Now click on latest, click on here stable and download will store it. Now search for Rufus and click on the very first link. Scroll a little bit. Whenever you click on it, download will be stored. Now search for WinRAR and click on the very first link, click on download, click on here, download will be stored. Now everything is downloaded. Close your browser. Another thing that is installation file. The installation file downloading link will be given in the description. Now, first of all, open the Rufus application. Click on yes. Now we have to install a pen drive to your PC minimum 16 gigabytes. Now click on select. Go to download folder and select the Linux Mint. Click on open. Click on GPT and click on start. Before starting, make sure that every data on your pen drive will be erased. Click on start, click on OK, click on OK. Just wait a few seconds to complete the process. When it's completed, it will be ready. Click on close. Now go to this PC and here you'll find the USB. Open it. Put it like this and on the other side, here's the download folder and here's the pen drive. On the USB drive, create a folder Chrome OS. Right click on it, select new and folder. Put the name as Chrome OS, open it. Now first of all, copy this installation file to the folder. And now, install the WinRAR. Click on yes. Now right click on the branch. Select open with WinRAR. Just wait for seconds. Now select these three IMG files and drag and drop it to the USB Chrome OS folder. Just wait a few minutes. Now this is done. Close it. Now again right click on the Chrome OS. Click on open, it's opened. Now select the Chrome OS file and drag and drop it to the USB Chrome OS folder. Just wait a few minutes to complete the process. When everything is copied, close the folders. While copying the files, if you find any error, you can make a bootable pen drive using this method. Select here, select the Linux Mint and from there select GPT and from here select NGFS and then start your bootable pen drive making process and after this process there will be no problem copying any file. Now you'll have to restore your PC and access the BIOS menu of your PC. To access the BIOS menu you can open this folder otherwise you can search in Google. On the BIOS menu, if your secure boot is enabled, you'll have to disable it. And now, this time, you'll have to access the boot menu of your PC. To access the boot menu, you can repeat this photo, otherwise, you can search in Google. Now, from the boot menu, select your pen drive and hit the arrow key. Just wait a few seconds. Now, on the screen, select Store to Linux Mint and hit the arrow key. Now, here, make sure you're connected to the internet. Now, open the files, go to File System. Then open CD ROM and here you'll find Chrome OS folder. Open it now. Just right click on the Chrome OS file, put the name as recovery.pin. Now, right click on here, select open in terminal, minimize this. Now type sudo space sh space install dot sh and hit the arrow key. Now wait a few seconds. Now here you'll have to type Y and if you type Y and hit the arrow key, everything on your hard drive or SSD will be erased. So before starting, make sure that you're ready to play and install the Chrome OS. Type Y and hit the arrow key. And just wait a few minutes to complete the process. So when it's completed, it will show Branch has successfully installed on this device. Now close it. Just Restore your PC. Click on here, click on this icon, click on restart. Now you'll have to remove your USB and hit the arrow key. 
just wait a few seconds for the first time. Now on the screen, make sure you're connected to the internet. Now click on get started. Now here, select personal use, click on next. Click on next. Now, log in with your Google account. Now, accept terms and conditions. Accept to continue. Now you have to create your password. Either you can choose the Google account password, or you can create another password that is combo. Now you can resize your icon size. Now click on next. Select your theme and click on next. Click on get started. Congratulations! Commerce has been successfully installed on your PC. If you find any error or any difficulty while trying to install Chrome OS, you can let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.